you just heard was a fragment from a song, Misalu, that was played in Arabia, Greece and Turkey and was popularized by Dick Dale's surf rock version that was used in the movie Pulp Fiction by Quentin Tarantino. Among all skills that exist in the world and even in some funky galaxies, there's one skill that sounds so dark, so different, so exotic and so well, so beautiful that it should be known by all musicians that want to expand their musical palette of colors. And that particular skill is called the double harmonic major skill. Single just isn't enough for this skill, it wants double. Now the first question is, what is harmonic? Well, well when a scale is harmonic, uh, like the well-known harmonic, uh, min <sighs> harmonic minor skill, it means that the skill is adapted to be more suited for harmonization and chords than for melody. And this is done by raising a note so that the fifth degree becomes major instead of minor. Now the disadvantage is the resulting one and a half step interval, which is not very suited for uh, making a melody. It's called the harmonic interval. Now the plain major scale has a tonic, a major second degree, a major third degree, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, a major sixth, and a major seventh degree. Now the C harmonic major scale is a darker version of the C major scale and it has all the degrees of the major scale but the sixth is now lowered to a minor sixth. Now this creates a one and a half step interval and results in a distinct sound of the scale. The double harmonic major scale can also be compared to the major scale, but it has a lowered sixth degree and a lowered second degree. So it's a major scale with a minor second degree and a minor sixth degree. Now this creates two times a one and a half step interval, hence the name double harmonic. Now these two one and a half step intervals create a very unique and dark sound while still being a major scale. formula of this scale is half step, one and a half step, half step, whole step, half step, one and a half step, and a half step. Now an interesting property of the scale is that it is a so-called palindrome. This means that the scale has the same order of intervals played up and played down. Now the tonic of the scale is surrounded by half steps. The notes B C and the notes D flat C. And this makes that the resolution to the tonic is very stable. The half steps create a strong gravity towards the tonic. Now this scale goes by many names. Some call it the Byzantine scale or Byzantine scale or Arabic scale for its Arabic origin. But it's also called the Phrygian major scale because of the Phrygian minor second degree. Now other names for this skill are the Bayrev Rock and Gypsy Major Skill. The technical name is Double Harmonic Major Skill. Now here are some patterns for the Double Harmonic Major Skill and you can download these in the PDF format on my Patreon page. Now the chords that are created when we build triads by stacking thirds are awkward sounding. So let's harmonize the C Double Harmonic Major Skill and see what we get. The chord on the first degree is a C major chord. C, major third E and fifth G. The chord on the second degree is a D flat major chord. A D flat, major third F and the fifth A flat. The chord on the third degree is an E minor chord. E, minor third G and the fifth B. The chord on the fourth degree is an F minor chord. F, minor third A flat and fifth C. Now the first four chords already sound so peculiar. But it gets weirder. The chord on the fifth degree is a major flat five chord, G major third B and a diminished fifth D flat. The chord on the sixth degree is an A flat augmented chord, A flat, the major third C and the augmented fifth E. And finally the chord on the seventh degree is a strange chord, it's a B sus2 diminished chord, the B, the sus2 D flat and the diminished fifth F. Now all chords in a row sound like this.
So creating sensible progressions with this skill will prove to be a challenge, but not completely impossible. And we can also build seven chords, of course. Uh, then we get a C major seven chord on the first degree, a D flat major seven chord, or a D dominant seven chord where the C flat is enharmonic equal to the B, the E minor six chord uh, where the C sharp is enharmonic equal to the D flat, the F minor major seven chord, the G seven flat five chord. An A flat major 7 sharp 5 chord. And a B diminished sus 2 chord. Now, a very remarkable thing in this scale is that it has a built in tritone substitution, which is a common substitution for a dominant chord in jazz. If you uh, want to know why, then watch my tutorial about the tritone substitution. In short, it works like this. A tritone is an augmented fourth interval. It has a distance of three whole steps. For instance, from the note G to the note C sharp. Which is by the way the same as from G to D flat, because C sharp and D flat are an enharmonic the same notes. In jazz, often the dominant fifth degree is replaced by a dominant chord that is a tritone away from that fifth degree, from that dominant chord. In the key of C major, the fifth degree is a G dominant seven chord. A tritone away from the note G will find the note C sharp or D flat. So the D flat dominant seven chord is the tritone substitution for the dominant G seven chord. In C double harmonic major scale, the chord on the second degree is a D flat major chord or a D flat dominant seven chord. So this will function as a tritone substitution for the real dominant chord in the key of C major, which would have been the G major chord or G dominant seven chord. This means that we can use the double harmonic major scale over a tritone substitution, starting on the second note of the scale. In the C double harmonic major scale, this would be the note D flat. Well, we'll play a C double harmonic major scale over a D flat chord, like in this simple lick. Later on in this video, we will see that by doing this, we actually play the second mode of the double harmonic major scale, the Lydian sharp two, sharp six mode. But that's for later. Now, besides the remarkable fact of the built-in tritone substitution on the second degree, there are two other degrees that are ambiguous in this scale too. Now, we've seen that the third degree is an E minor chord, E, G, and B, or an E minor six chord, E, G, B, and C sharp, where C sharp is enharmonic equal to the D flat. But it can also be an E major chord or E major six chord if we consider that the A flat is enharmonic equal to the G sharp to become the major third of the E major chord. The E major chord is also the chromatic median in C major, and that results in a beautiful cinematic sound. So over the chromatic median progression, C major, E major, we can play at this C double harmonic major scale to create a daring different sound, like this. Now the fifth degree is a flat five chord with a major third, G, B, and D flat. Adding the F to the chord creates a G seven flat five chord, which is a very dissonant chord. But if we leave out the diminished fifth and add the flat nine, then we get a G dominant seven flat nine chord without the fifth. And that can be played with a very common chord shape on the guitar. This chord sounds much milder and we are still playing the notes of the double harmonic major scale. Now we have already seen that the scale can be used over a tritone substitution and over a chromatic median progression. Also over the G dominant 7 flat 9 chord with no fifth, the scale sounds very well. Still, 
scale, the double uh, harmonic major scale is much more a chord scale, meaning that the scale fits one or two particular chords. Most of the time, just one chord, and that will be the tonic of the scale. Now, the tonic of the double harmonic major scale is a obvious C major 7 chord. The root C, the major 3rd E, the 5th G, and the major 7B. So if you want to throw in a spicy sound, then you could use the C double harmonic major scale over a C major 7 chord, like this. All the notes in between the chord tones are semitones apart from those chord tones, which means that they create a lot of tension and should be played with care. Now you can try this yourself by playing the scale over a drone bass note, or over a major 7 single chord backing track for instance. Before we go on, I want to let you know that uh, when you like these kind of lessons, it might be interesting for you to check out my Patreon page for some additional supporting material, so you can study in an easier way. It might also be of interest for you to get copies of the ebooks that I make that contain all the graphics, all the explanation and audio examples, and even some backing tracks, so you can study the subject offline or use it as teaching material or whatever. And now, Let's get back to the double harmonic major scale. Now, despite the fact that some chords in this scale sound pretty weird, there are combinations that work very well and catch the essence of the scale in a sensible way. Now, I'll show you a couple of them here. The first progression is maybe not unique, but it's typical for the scale. It's a combination of the major first and the major second degree. And it sounds like this. We can also make a 7 chord variation in order to use every note in the scale. Now the 3rd degree has 2 notes in common with the tonic, and the 4th degree has 2 notes in common with the 2nd degree. So we can use these chords too, like this. Using the minor major 7 chord on the 4th degree also creates a mysterious sound, like this. The dominant 7 flat 9 chord is a perfect combination with the tonic. We should leave out the diminished 5th though. Play goal 4th degree, which is a minor 4th degree, together with the major 2nd degree, defines a double harmonic major scale too. Now just like the major scale, the harmonic minor scale and the melodic minor scale, the double harmonic minor scale has modes too. It may be obvious that the modes created by such an awkward scale are pretty, pretty awkward themselves too. Now first let's derive the modes from the C double harmonic uh, major scale by starting the scale each time on a different note. Now the first mode is the C double harmonic major scale itself. The degrees in this scale are the tonic, the minor second, the major third, the perfect fourth, the perfect fifth, the minor sixth, and the major seventh. The second mode starts on the D flat, 
and is called the Lydian Sharp 2 Sharp 6 mode. This means that it is a Lydian skill, a major skill with an augmented 4th degree, and on top of that it has an augmented 2nd and an augmented 6th degree. <laughs> Now, the third mode of the C double harmonic major skill is the E ultra Phrygian mode. This is a Phrygian skill, a minor skill with a minor second degree, and it has also a diminished fourth and a dimin diminished seventh degree. Now, the fourth mode is used more frequently than the other modes. It is known as the Hungarian minor. Gypsy minor or double harmonic minor skill. It's the same skill as the harmonic uh, minor skill, a minor skill with a major seventh degree, but it has also an augmented fourth degree. Now the fifth mode is called the oriental mode. Now, and if you would compare this with the fifth mode of the major skill, then it would be a mixolydian skill. A major skill with a minor 7th degree, altered by a minor 2nd degree and a diminished 5th degree. The 6th mode is called the Ionian Augmented Sharp 2 mode, or Ionian Sharp 2 Sharp 5 mode. And this is just what it says, it's a major skill with an augmented 5th degree and an augmented 2nd degree. Now the seventh mode is the weirdest of all these modes. It's called the Locrian double flat three double flat seven mode. It's a Locrian skill, which is a minor skill uh, with a minor second degree and a diminished fifth degree, altered by a double flat third degree and a double flat seventh degree. <laughs> Now, if you take a closer look to all these modes, then you'll notice that all modes have a chromatic sequence, B, C, D flat, which is unique for the modes of the double harmonic major skill. Now, if we trace back all the modes to the tonic C, we can see more clearly what the differences are and more important, what the tonic of the scale is. Then we know over what chord the mode sounds best. Now, the first mode, the double harmonic major skill, has a C major 7 chord as a tonic. So playing this scale over the C major 7 chord will create a more distinct and pronounced sound than for instance the C major or C Lydian scale. The second mode, the Lydian sharp 2 sharp 6 mode, has a dominant 7 chord as a tonic. And it can also be a C major 7 chord by the way. The sharp 2 can be seen as the minor 3rd, so this scale contains the minor and major 3rd, creating tension when played over the tonic C dominant 7. The third mode, the ultra Frisian mode, has a C minor 6 chord as a tonic, if we consider the diminished 7th degree and harmonic equal to the major 6th degree. So, this mode can be an alternative for a C Dorian uh, mode that would have been an obvious choice to play over a minor 6 chord. And the fourth mode, the Hungarian minor or double harmonic minor scale, has a beautiful C minor major 7 chord as the tonic. So instead of playing a harmonic minor or melodic minor scale, we can play the fourth mode of the double harmonic major scale over this minor major 7 chord. The fifth mode, the oriental mode, uh, has a C dominant 7 flat 5 chord as a tonic, uh, which is a very dissonant chord. Still, the mode can also be used over a C dominant 7 flat 9 chord without the fifth. This results in a milder dominant sound. And the mode could be an alternative for the Mixolydian scale, for instance. The sixth mode, the Ionian Augmented Sharp 2 mode, has an augmented major 7 chord as a tonic. Now, in jazz, this major 7 sharp 5 chord is sometimes used as a substitute for a smoother sounding major 7 chord to create a non resolving tension at the end of a progression. So you can try this over a major 7 chord or over a major 7 sharp 5 chord as an alternative 
for a major or a Lydian skill. The seventh mode, the Locrian uh, double flat three, double flat seven mode, has not really a defined tonic chord. The triad is not present and it has a diminished fifth and diminished seventh degree. So you could play this over a full diminished chord, for instance. So where have you been looking at the past 20 minutes? Well, a lot of weird names, that's for sure. But also the dissection of a very peculiar sounding skill. A dark skill while being major. A lot of weird modes uh, that can actually sound unique, with some effort of course. You've been also looking to another way to create a new sound, new mood that can enrich your style of playing. Like with any new skill, lick, chord or technique, it takes time, and that is up to you. Well, I hope I have set you in the right direction to mine the possibilities of the double harmonic major skill. Good luck, success, and above all, have lots of fun. Bye.